you're here with Forever Sasha, catch up with World Mag, and we are all the way in Shoreditch at the Strong Room with an international artist. Yes, all the way from Canada, we have the wonderful, the talented, the versatile, Mr. Flow and Lyricist. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's Lando. Hello. <laughs> hey, how are you doing, Lando? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, still adjusting to the whole yeah. five hours thing, but yeah, I'm, I'm blessed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fair enough. When did you actually arrive in the UK? I got here Monday. Oh, is it your first time here? No, I came here in June. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that and was the first time. then you fell in love and you're like, yeah, let me come back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not just that, because you're here promoting your EP. Oh, yes. Your four-track EP. Tell us a little bit about that. So, uh, Man Like Me, out on our streaming platforms, um, sort of like a Caribbean dancehall, UK, mm -hmm. Toronto influence tape. And it's just some of the songs that I sort of made in the quarantine, mm -hmm. like when I was exploring like my Caribbean roots, and I'm like, let me get this out. Yeah. And like, put out solo music because I made music with a group but I was like it's time for people to see me now you know yeah yeah I hear that and you know what I love that you've just like you've incorporated Jamaica UK Canada like everything that you're affiliated with but it's only a four track EP how do you manage to put so much element into four songs I feel like that's kind of how I feel about this city like I'll walk by a shop yeah. And then the next shop will be beside it. And it's almost like two different universes mm. in that same place. Like it's so co condensed. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, it's, especially with people's attention span now. I'm like, I'm not trying to give you something long. So I'm yeah. like, Yo, let's go quick. Boom, boom, boom. And then you want more and I send the next one. Boom, boom, boom. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Welcome to London. We're very mm -hmm. diverse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of London, so obviously, you know, what's happened with the Queen and everything like that. How are we feeling about the royal family and the Queen and stuff like that? Was it, did you go visit the Queen? Would you have wanted to? Um, I, maybe it's because of like my age or something, but I didn't really, I've never really paid that much mind to things like yeah. that. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I didn't really know, yeah. nothing, especially even in Jamaica, like, Mm. I know when she come, oh, the queen, they, they freak out and whatnot. But, but not you. Yeah, yeah no, nah, just like yeah. with most like uh, things in like politics or mm. media, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of like. Try to stay away from yeah, it. Yeah, Fair yeah, yeah. You mentioned Jamaica. So you're Jamaican born. Mm -hmm. um, Canadian, Canadian born. Canadian born, but yeah, you were sent then, to Jamaica and yeah, raised there. Yeah. How has that shaped you as an artist? I feel like it, how it shaped me as a person mm. first, mm. like kind of influenced how I am as an artist. Because I'm. Um, <laughs> One, the sense of community yeah. in Yad is like huge. Mm. Like that's a big thing. Someone pulls up in your area, you know they're not from there. Because yeah. when I was going to school, I was saying good morning and good evening to everybody I saw. True. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, whereas like I noticed when I, when I came to Canada, I could live in a, in a flat beside somebody. <laughs> know your neighbor. Not know the neighbor. Even though we've lived for like the past like 10 years. Yeah. See them in the morning, not even say hi or nothing like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I feel like because of that, um, I always try to not only tell my story, but like the story of others in my community or mm. like other people that I've like experienced or like seen. Yeah. And I'm always also trying to uh, stick true to who I am mm. as a person. Cause you know how Jamaicans are, you go in a room and it's them. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's me, you know, yeah, you're yeah. trying to show who you are. Like that's Straight how I approach away. like the mic too. Cause it's mm. one of those, like the moment you hear it is like, okay, that's him. Yeah. Like you stop what you're doing. I don't even like talk before I do something. I sometimes just start the music, people just listen. So yeah. that, that's how I feel like growing up in Jamaica influenced me as an artist or my art form. Yeah, but that makes sense. That makes total sense. Do you know what? Obviously, I know that you've got some influences from the UK, Jamaica, America, all over, which is great, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you're also a creative in your own right. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel, I find you start quite quirky, mm -hmm. out there, fun, okay. and you don't, you don't seem shy to experiment, you know? No. Whilst doing this EP, yeah. which one of the songs did you feel like, yo, I wanted to take it somewhere, but it wasn't going and you didn't stop until you get there? Um, that's how I felt about the, I think, one of the singles on their formula. Formula. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at first I was, I was, I was doing it and everything just, just clicked. Mm. And then there was a point where I got stuck. Okay. However, we had to shoot a music video. And I, I did a part of the verse before we started shooting the video. Okay. Like the song wasn't even done, but I had to finish the song for the video. So I was just like, even though I'm stuck, I need to muscle through and yeah. get, get through the song. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even know the lyrics during the video because I, I was like lip syncing. And, or and trying to say, and I'm like, yeah, I don't even remember this part, so it took mad takes. Crazy. But yeah, 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 that song would not have gotten finished if it wasn't for the video. So you started the yeah, video yeah, before yeah. you completed the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, Never had to, to light life. the fire, you know? Love Cause, it. Because the concept we had was sick. Yeah. But we had a certain 
uh, timeline with the equipment. Mm. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, get on this. No, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love that. I've never heard of that in my life. So <laughs> big up to you for that one. But obviously, formula. You spoke about formula. It's out mm-hmm. now. Yeah, yeah. But the EP is officially out on 14th of October. So yeah, yeah. So, so the it's right thing. Can yeah. Find that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So which one of the songs on the EP is your favorite? They've all been my favorite at some point. Yeah. Like right now, yeah, in this moment, in which this one would you say moment, sum you up? First contact. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Why? yeah. Because it's like, it kind of brings me somewhere else. It feels happy. It feels light. Like, yeah. when I made some of the songs, like eh, quarantine and all that, you know, like mm. all these emotions, I feel like I had to get out. But at that one, I felt like it's like a celebration. Yeah. And it feels like something you can run at a dance. Mm-hmm. I hear mm-hmm, that. Okay. Mm-hmm, yeah. Do you know what it is? You went hard on your track, especially 16 bit. That's my favorite, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, thanks. yeah, yeah. And the video, love the video as well. It's very artistic, you know? But for me, I'm like looking at it and I hear the UK influences and stuff, and I'm like, but he's not quite UK. No, 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 no. And then I hear the Canadian in there, and I'm like, yo, it's like, like you said about being here in London, mm-hmm. different shops, like I went to like mm. three different continents, mm. you know, and that's dope. Do you ever find that challenging to say, today I'm just gonna stay in the Canadian zone, or do you just let the art take over? I, I let it go where it needs to go, but mm. I, I kind of reel it back if I feel like it's not me. Okay. Because that's why at first I was always, I'm like, how do I tackle a UK beat or a UK style mm. song yeah. without using like a mm. British accent? Because I don't have a British accent. And you I know, love I don't that feel though, real yeah. to use a, so I'm like, but I'm from Yad. Yeah. So if I'm, if I'm from Jamaica, like how, how then would he approach this song? Yeah. And then I'm doing that and I'm like, but I'm also from Toronto. So let me say some, some, something from over there. Yeah. yeah, it just happens. It's just mm. like, you know, I'll grab bits and pieces and just slap it in there. Fair yeah. enough. During the song, I did hear some like, I thought, wait, I know it says you're Jack, you're Jamaican, yeah, 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 yeah. but then again, I was like, I hear some other Caribbean islands. I was like, wait, <laughs> it's like, what's going on here? How yeah. do you explain that? Um, so one, sometimes I might have a word and then the next word don't rhyme, so I like flip it in a way to make it work. My. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, hey man, sometimes I'd be going to Nige in, yeah. in, 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 in my, my lyrics, because yeah. if Berna can go to the Patois, hey. I can use the pigeon. Hello. You know, so that's, that's how I feel about... Um, yeah. Uh, that kind of music. Yeah, and you do and it well, I love it. That's what music is about, you know, mm-hmm, experimenting, yeah, doing yeah. different things, etc. I want to talk about those two bubbles in your hair. Yeah. What are we saying? What's happening? Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> the way my hair is when I yeah. braid it, it just come loose. Yeah. And then I was like, the black elastics are cool, but yeah. like, I know little, little kids in Jamaica, they have like the bubbles. I just put them on. I'm like, it looks <laughs> and you nice. chose yellow today or is that your one that you could find? Yellow looks good on black people, so you know, I'll put on the yellow. <laughs> Top tip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's crazy. Speaking of black people, okay, Man Like Me released mm-hmm. 14th of October. Mm-hmm. What else happened in October? Black History Month. Well, here in the UK. Because yeah, yeah. in America, it's like February. Is that the same for Canada? Yeah, in February Canada, it's February as well. Yeah. Okay, so you get to celebrate it twice. Yeah. Lucky you. I didn't even know it was in October. Someone mentioned it when I came in June. So I'm like, oh, that's sick. Yeah. So I'm like, let's just come back like yeah. during that time. Because it was supposed to come out during this time originally. Mm. I didn't clock that Black History Month was in October here. But okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but now you know. Mm, <laughs> what does Black History Month mean to you? He's having a think, I like this, the pensive look on his face. Yeah, I've never been asked this question. Oh, like, okay. Every, yeah, 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 <laughs> so... Um, being not ashamed to like show who I am, because mm. I feel like even a part of... Um, me not still having as much of a Jamaican accent as I used to is because like at one point I feel like I had to water myself down mm. when I went to Canada mm. you know because um I don't I'm not saying like I was like people were racist to me or anything like that. I just feel like I'd stick out too much if I like did that so I think I'm now at a point where I feel like embrace that because there's so much sauce in like those cultural differences and like cultural influences whether it be the food the music the style yeah things like that and i feel like when you blur the lines that's when like you you, you create like new things i don't know how to fully explain it, but i feel yeah. like sauce that's the word i'm gonna use so uh, yeah, yeah you, you make you make you, you shuffle up something new when yeah. you like mix it all up yeah so yeah i feel like yeah black history month to me it means like being proudly like black being probably wherever that black is yeah embracing that fully and, that. and not hiding that or feeling ashamed for having that like if 
you come to school and you have some fufu or some buffer or, or like mm -hmm. some stew chicken or something in your plate. Have it proudly. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, someone in our group, he was saying one day he came to school and some people were like, ew, what is that? Yeah. And then he's like, mom, give me the Dunkaroos or something like that yeah. or the snackables. I don't want to bring my food no more. Mm. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. You know, I feel like that it, with, in moments like that, you kind of hide away and like, mm -hmm. you put on like a layer and you, you, you kind of like yeah. fall into yourself as opposed to just being who you are. Right. So, yeah. No, I hear that. So basically own your stuff. Yeah. Bottom line, own your stuff. You know, the more you do it, the more people embrace it, but mm -hmm. you shine away. Mm -hmm. Moral of the story. Mm -hmm. well, thank you for that, Lando. If you could play any, like, amazing black history or black icon from the past in a movie, who would it be? Ooh. I don't know if it's a, a black icon and I, like that, but I think Bootsy. Just because, yeah, because he's just so... Cool, like yeah. he really raised the shades. I can't play guitar or nothing like that, but his style and like how he created music and he just like just dove in, just did whatever. Yeah, yeah I kind of like Bootsy Collins' style. Okay, yeah, and he was, you see how I have the bubbles, the man yeah. had the shades and all that with the yeah. stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it's definitely different, but it does go with your music, mm. you know. But it, do, it give it that little twist when I listen to your song. I mean, like I said, I hear some UK influences there, but then. I Lando in it. Like, if I put you on a track or on an album with a UK artist, I kind of tell the difference. Not just because of your accent, mm -hmm. because I don't know, there's a different kind of, you know, that you push forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, again, yeah. the EP's out. Yes. It's you can literally everywhere. Out. Man yes. Like Me yes. out every yes. single where. Go get that. Go Run enjoy that, yeah. it. You yeah. know, what's your Instagram handle? Stuff like that. The Instagram handle is Lando6, so L-A-N-D-O, the number mm -hmm. six, I-X. Yeah. And then um, if anybody's interested in No Tourist, because that's a group I'm also in, you can find us at Ain't No Tourist. Yeah. So A-I-N-T, No Tourists. So T-O-U-R-I-S-T-S. -S. Oh, tourists. You yeah. do like to travel. <laughs> it's because in the studio we work out on people would yeah. come and waste time all the time like they'd make like dirt music or they'll just like oh. fool around so the producer got upset and he's like yeah no more tourists in the studio like i want if you're serious about the craft come here and make music because it's free it's a free space oh nice so you know don't take advantage of, yeah. of the time so like yeah that's how that how many of you are in the group i, I could say low-key 12 or 11 ah. but it's like five artists two producers like we have video guy we have uh someone who does oh, this so stuff production. yeah yeah we're like an art collective nice. of like sorts that. yeah 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 yeah. oh that's great mm -hmm. no i absolutely like that i didn't know 12 so it's like eminem's group what they call again that I don't know. Is it D12 or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because it got 12 in it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ask you, so I feel like I need you to like do a challenge and stuff. Like it's my first time interviewing a Canadian artist uh -huh. who's also um, Jamaican, who's influenced by Capleton, UK artists. Like it's mad. It's like a whole world right here. I feel like with an artist like that, it's very easy to do a freestyle, right? So if I chuck a word at you, like, I mean, <laughs> you can go in your Canadian bag, oh your my gosh, bag. Yo, I'm going to keep it real. That's mm. the one thing I struggle with. And mm. I have the utmost of envy to the people who can freestyle. Okay. Oh, I just can't really do the freestyle. I try. But then it's just like, don't worry. Let's pray on it and let's uh, try. All right, let's. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So I'm going to do, the word is bubbles. Uh-huh. Go. Oh, I just get one word. You don't even have to make sense. Just make it rhyme. Just make it flow. Just make me move. All make right. the cameraman start moving the camera while he's filming. <laughs> Bubbles. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the music, I make your bubble like soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bubble like soup. Bubble, bubble, make it bubble like soup. Yeah. Get the music, we make your bubble like soup. Cause it's wicked. <laughs> <laughs> you're just in your own head. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, I, I don't, yeah I, that's Would you my say problem. You're a perfectionist. Yes, because no, yeah, problem. yeah, I don't want to like. Yeah. yeah. Even when I make my own music, like I'll do the takes for like yeah. I'll do like one word or one line sometimes for even half hour straight yeah. if it don't come out right. Yeah. So I feel like because of that, it's kind of hard for me to freestyle because then I'm like. It's gonna have faults and cracks in it. Yeah, no, yeah, it's fine. Sometimes yeah. it makes sense. You know, Skilly Bang just go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it works. Yeah, <laughs> right. Because sometimes when I'm doing mine, I'll, I'll stutter or, or like make a sound, and I'm like, oh, leave it. It works now. I'll catch the or use that to switch beats. Yeah, I'm tr I'm trying to get yeah. to a place where I'm comfortable freestyling, but nah, right now it's not. 
That's okay, but I feel like next time we meet, Lando, you mm. need to have like. All you, right, you, nah, it will, it will I be better. It will, yeah. I know it will be because just get out of your own head. Mm -hmm, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to make just because the way you flow, it's like music anyway. Mm -hmm. So I don't even need to hear what you're saying. I just need to feel what you're saying. You all know? right, get the sounds out. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Are you hungry? You say soup. Are you hungry? What? No, no, no. It's just uh, I was thinking about like soup, soup. <laughs> What do you like eating when you're in the UK? What did I like? Yeah. I've just been to Sainsbury's. I've just been grabbing sandwiches and whatnot. Yeah, I went to some wing spot after, but like, we've just been working. So okay. I haven't really been like eating that much. So you meat. haven't had any Caribbean food? No, we're supposed to go to this spot called Cotton's. But okay. like, yeah, we're, we're going to eat, eat later once yeah, we yeah. have some downtime, but it's just been work so you far. You vlogging any of these so your Canadian friend can see that London is lit. I don't even be vlogging. Like, I'm just, that's why we have someone here to, to do the, the, yeah. the content and whatnot. Cause I, I'm not even on my phone like that. I'll just be, if I'm on my phone, I'm writing. But London is lit, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell them sick. London it's is sick. lit. Oh, L London's crazy. Yeah. The food, <laughs> mad. yeah. The music, the music scene's ridiculous. Yeah. So many talented artists mm. in all these random studio spaces yeah. and they're all doing their own thing and they're all like, next. Like, just consummate professionals. Mm. Yeah. How long are you here for? I'm here till Wednesday. Oh, you, you haven't got any work lined up to work with anybody that's here in the UK? I work with a few people over here already. Yeah. yeah. But whilst you're here now, do you have any one that you're gonna work with in that time yeah yeah because i just i had a session yesterday with this artist yeah. from like here his name's uh gj there's this other guy from like south africa i was working with there's this producer who's here named uh made in paris or the kid Pri okay. paris he's sick um i'm supposed to link uh kieran booth on monday i think okay yeah. i like that yeah 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 I, go in? He, I have worked with this uh this he plays piano and he raps his name's harvey white yeah. um I have a session, I'm supposed to have a session with Aubrey Tranquil. He's like a DJ slash producer. Yeah. He's done some stuff with like Infamous Isaac. And like, yeah, no sessions wow, wow. scheduled. Yeah. You're very busy. Yeah. I like that. You know, we could talk here for hours mm -hmm. and hours and hours, you know. But obviously, guys, make sure you go and check out Lando on the Instagram. Go find Man Like Me, yeah? See what Man Like Him is about. What's he saying on that four track AP? You know, <laughs> formula is officially out as a single. Yeah. If you want to catch the whole body of work then just get man like me which is out 40 of october you know lando thank you so much for talking mm -hmm. catch up with world man is there anything you'd like to say before you go no, just just listen to the music you know there's something for everybody on there it's uh yeah yeah i'm excited to finally see what the public response will be because i've been sitting on these songs for so long yeah 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 love it all right thank you guys until next time i've been forever sasha this is lando check out man like me we're outside bye Thank you so much.